Zen Dude Nation, the time has come. You guys have been asking for this for I don't know how long, maybe a year. We are doing a body breakdown on the man himself, Brad Pitt, today. Specifically, we're going to be talking about Brad Pitt's physique in the movies Fight Club and Snatch. Why? Well, in those movies specifically, he had a very Zen dude-esque physique. He was lean, he was chiseled, he was athletic. It was a kind of body that looks good, but also feels good as well. Now today we're going to talk about Brad Pitt's journey to create the physique that he had in those movies. But don't worry, if you're not as lean as he is, or if, if you feel like you have more of a journey to go than he did, that's okay. We're going to take you to that physique no matter where you are right now. Now let's talk about where Brad Pitt was starting specifically. This guy was naturally an ectomorph, he was a skinny guy, he was what we call a hard gainer. So for Brad, it was actually very difficult to put weight on. And though he did lose body fat during his preparation for these roles, he was also focusing a lot on just gaining muscle. And he was really focusing on gaining dense muscle. And so with that dense muscle, you could see here in these photos, it gave him that look of being an absolute ninja, which is what we always talk about here at Zendu Fitness. You want to look like a ninja, and you want to feel good, you want to be athletic, and so that's what he was going for, and that's what we're going to go for today when we talk about his transformation. When Brad Pitt started his transformation, he was 5 feet 11 inches tall and around 167 pounds, and in Fight Club, he got all the way down to around 156 pounds, so that's about 6% body fat, probably too lean for some of you. We maybe want to shoot more for the snatch physique where he was closer to 8% body fat and had a little bit more weight on his body. So before we get into to talking about exactly what Brad did, I want to mention a tool to you right now that I think is going to help you achieve your fitness goals. So at Zendu Fitness, if you haven't seen any of our other videos, we talk about jump rope. We talk about jump rope as a tool for fat loss. And later in the video, I'm going to give you free workouts that you can do. But right now, if you want to pick up the jump rope that we use to do our workouts, I'll link it in the description below for 10% off. It's the cross rope. It's one we use every day. It's the best in the world. We recommend it. So if you want that, grab it. Now let's get into the transformation. Let's start off by talking about the workouts that Brad was doing on a consistent basis. So when he went through this transformation, getting ready for this role, creating that lean muscular physique that we all strive towards ourselves, he was working out five to six days a week and he was doing a very consistent routine. So he split up his body parts into just about a singular body part for each day he was working out. And while he did that, he was actually focusing on not doing that many sets and keeping the reps very high. So on the first day, Mondays was his chest day. So he would start off by warming up with push-ups, three sets of 25 repetitions each. Don't worry if you can't do push-ups, you can do push-ups from your knees, that's a modification here. And so once you complete that warm-up, you can move on to the three main lifts he did on that chest day. So the first one being regular bench press, three sets of 15 repetitions each, followed by three sets of incline bench press, 15 repetitions each, and then finally three sets of flies, which is an exercise that's great for building muscular density in the pectoral region and again he did 15 repetitions here as well so I'm not gonna say three sets of 15 repetitions for this whole video just understand that's what he did for every exercise I'm gonna name going forward on the other workout days Tuesdays Tuesday was back day he started off back day with a warm-up where he would do three sets of five repetitions for pull-ups and so this is the only exercise that he didn't do 15 repetitions of that's why I mentioned it right now if you can't do pull-ups do pull-up negatives and right now I'll show you a quick little video really outlining what pull-up negatives are. So if you can't do pull-ups, do these so you can work your way up to doing normal pull-ups. After he completed pull-ups, he moved on to seated rows, lat pull-down, and then T-bar rows. Moving on to Wednesdays. Wednesdays was shoulder days. So you can see in a lot of the photos or you know famous imagery from the movie Fight Club or Snatch, he had these very sculpted full deltoids. And the reason why he was able to create those deltoids was the work he put in in the weight room. So he was doing military press, he was doing Arnold press, he was doing side shoulder raises, and he was doing front shoulder raises. Thursday was biceps and triceps, you know, curls for the girls, where he would either do the curl machine or just normal dumbbell bicep curls, followed by the easy bar curl, followed by hammer curls, and finally finishing off with the tricep extension. Friday, 
days. Friday, finally, it was cardio day. So he would hop on the treadmill and go about 65 to 75% of his maximum output. So he wasn't going as hard as he could because he was going for a considerable amount of time on the treadmill, but he was pushing himself into the mid to mid high intensity range. Now, let me stop you right there. If you don't like doing treadmill work, I don't either. You don't have to work on the treadmill. You don't have to get on the treadmill ever again for the rest of your life. Here at Zendu Fitness, we talk about jump rope. It's a fun tool that we use to do our cardio. It helps us build up our endurance. It helps us burn body fat. And overall, it's just the most enjoyable form of high intensity exercise that we found out there. So if you wanna do those type of workouts instead of treadmill, you can swap those out. And to help you do so, I'll link down in the description our free four week challenge with four weeks of workouts, jump rope and body weight related. And I'll also put it up here in the right hand corner of the screen right now. If you don't want to click down there, you can click there. You can click up here, down here, down up there, whatever you want. Finally, Saturdays and Sundays. So like I said in the beginning of this video, Brad was a hard gainer and we're not all hard gainers. We're not all naturally skinny, but for him to gain that muscle mass, he just decided not to work out a lot of times on Saturdays and Sundays and instead focus on recovery. So getting lots of sleep, eating and letting his muscles recover without doing any weightlifting or training. So if you're someone who is a hard gaining or naturally skinny, you can do that exact same thing. If you know that you have a little more body fat than Brad Pitt did in these roles, then you should incorporate more jump rope exercises or whatever cardio you wanna do on these days as well. So, you know, at least two days of high intensity interval training workouts. From what I saw on the internet, especially for these two roles we're talking about that Brad Pitt prepared for, he kind of just ignored legs he wasn't giving it much love and if you want to give your legs some love if you want that complete physique we do here at Zendu Fitness recommend that you try to train your whole body it just creates muscular balances and allows you to live overall healthy and creates a better aesthetic in our opinion so if you want to do leg workouts you can go ahead and take like the shoulder and then tricep and bicep day and just clump those together make that one workout day and then open up one day and insert a leg day and so on that leg day you can do leg extensions for a few sets, you can do leg hamstring curls for a few sets, some back squats for a few sets, and some standing calf raises as well. That'll be sufficient. Again, three sets, 15 reps for each exercise. And the reason why I keep on grinding home like three sets of 15 reps is because this is a body breakdown for Brad Pitt. So I want you to replicate what he did in preparation for these roles. So is this the only way to gain muscle? Absolutely not. A lot of people recommend low rep days and doing less sets or more sets. This is one way to get Get this done. So with that being said, let's move on. Let's start talking about his nutrition regimen. Ah, the diet. I had the Jamie Lee Curtis yogurt. I actually digested a huge gust of wind on my way to work. I um, shared a bagel with the uh, garbage. I had two chocolate cheesecakes. <laughs> oh, two? Fat. No, yes. Yeah, fat. <laughs> yeah whatever. I'm Are fat. Are you going to be on the show? Or? Yeah, well, what? I wish fat. I could. <laughs> I'll, be show. I'll be on the show. Whatever. I don't care. I love myself and I hate myself. But my diet starts tomorrow. Our diet starts tomorrow. I know you want me to give you some kind of magic pill here and tell you exactly what he ate and be able to guarantee that you're gonna get the exact same body that he did. I'm gonna do so, but not in a way that you're gonna expect, okay? So if you go and look at the diet foods that he ate when he was preparing for these rolls, it was pretty basic stuff. It was, you know, brown rice and chicken and fish and uh, vegetables and protein shakes and Greek yogurt and cottage cheese and a lot of the stuff that you see bodybuilders eat. And so you can definitely eat those foods they are healthy foods or great foods, but you don't have to be limited to those. Because if you look up Brad Pitt's training regimen online, you may find that he ate these foods and you may think to yourself, hey, you know what? I don't even want to try to get this physique because I don't want to just eat brown rice and chicken or fish every day. And I feel you 100% and understand you do not have to. Your new Nutrition, what you eat on a daily basis to get that body can be an enjoyable process. So I'm gonna talk about that right now. If you wanna follow what Brad was doing, again, he was a hard gainer, so he was trying to eat as much as he could. So he was eating almost every two to three hours. So he eat breakfast, a mid-morning snack, he eat lunch, he would go train, he would have a, a pre-workout before he trained where he'd have like a banana or something. Post-workout, he would have a protein shake. Then he would have 
dinner, and then he would have a mid-evening snack. So it's a lot of food. And what I want you to understand is all the research that I've seen out there around nutrition tells us that it's not necessarily about how often you eat. The most important thing is that you're maintaining an anabolic state throughout the day, and you get the amount of calories and macronutrients that you need. So calories, which is just the energy that you consume to perform normal, normal daily functions, including lifting weights and working out and thinking and everything, and macronutrients, protein, carbs, and fats. So for the calories and the macronutrients, we're gonna link in the description our calculator, which will help you calculate this, and if you'd like another tutorial to help you do so, I'll link up in the right-hand corner of the screen a video, it's called How to Get a Six-Pack Jump and Rope, going deep in depth, teaching you how to create the physique that you want by eating the right amount of calories and macronutrients for your body. So you can check that out, you can check the calculator out, and I'm gonna move on here and talk to you now about meal frequency. So as I said before, Brad was eating every two to three hours. He was eating a ton. For a lot of us, we live busy lives. We don't have time to do that, nor do we want to. We don't want to be the person who has their lunchbox at work. Instead, we can do something even better, guys. What you can do is you can practice something called intermittent fasting. And this is kind of turning the cheat codes on for creating this physique. So in the morning, instead of eating anything, you can just consume some branch chain amino acids. And so these branch chain amino acids, what they allow you to do is maintain an anabolic state so you're not worried about losing any muscle instead you can continue to burn body fat maintain the muscle you have and push your first meal until the middle of the day so if you want some branch chain amino acids I'll link in the description below the ones that we use on a daily basis because we do the same thing we're busy guys we don't want to have to eat that many meals so instead we just don't eat for half the day we eat branch chain amino acids in the morning with so once you make it to the halfway point of your day you can start consuming your calories and your macronutrients eating your lunch and then eating dinner and what we prefer to do, we believe it's the most enjoyable way to hit our macronutrient and calorie goals is just by eating two giant meals. And so if you're someone who has trouble getting enough food in, don't worry, you can eat breakfast if you want to. But if you're someone who always feels like you're too hungry and you always want to eat more, then cut out breakfast, replace it with BCAAs, and start eating halfway into the day. Now, I did find out exactly how many calories and macronutrients that Brad Pitt ate. And the reason why I'm not telling you how much he ate is because you would have to be five foot 11 167 pounds exactly for these numbers to work for you and that's a whole point that we linked you up that calculator is because we want to make sure that this plan fits you personally if you're eating for your body personally you're gonna be much much more likely to create this physique because you know exactly the amount of food your body needs to continue to lose body fat and gain muscle mass now comes the point of the video where I want to invite everyone to ask us questions drop them in the comments below if you have questions about anything we asked today or if there are other body breakdowns that you want us to do. We know on this channel, we've got a long list of body breakdowns that you guys asked for and we're definitely gonna get to those. We appreciate each and every one of you making suggestions because that's where our content comes from. It comes from you and your suggestions. And finally, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We do body breakdowns like this one, we do jump rope workouts, we do nutrition tutorials. Basically on this channel, we focus on helping you create that Brad Pitt physique in many different ways. So please subscribe to the channel and we'll continue to make awesome videos like this to help you get lean and live an awesome life. People do it every day. They talk to themselves. They see themselves as they'd like to be. They don't have the courage you have to just run with it. The things you own end up owning you. It's only after we've lost everything that we're free to do anything.